already day two here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Oh, here yeah. the park is open an extra hour tonight. It closed at eight last night, closes at nine tonight. And opened an hour earlier too. Yes, it did. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we didn't get to take advantage of that. We were sit waited in line for like an hour, it seemed like, over at guest services to get our media pass. Which took but literally 20 seconds, if not even fantastic. less. Plus the funny thing too, like the wait to get in through security was one of the worst we ever seen. Holy cow, was it bad? Everybody piled on the left, and it was like a huge line. Terrible. So uh, you kind of go to the right, and then it's like, oh look, available space that nobody's taking. Guess I gotta, take it. Yeah, I have to say this as well. United Parks, get your act together. That's terrible. Yeah, I, I don't and know. Like for a point, there was like only one person at guest services, and then two, and then we upped it to three, and then we got in. So. That's, that's trash. Very trash. Also today, the water rides, I mean, except for... Um, for right now. All the water rides are going to be open. Yesterday, the uh, logs room was open. I think I was the only one. Yeah, there was the only one. So we hope they get uh, Escape from Pompeii, Roman River Rapids. And uh, is there another one we're missing there? Um, let's go, which is the log ride. Yes. Yeah, we don't know about Roman Rapids yet because uh, right now they haven't listed as open. But uh, uh, on log ride, it said it's there. But... Uh, Thanks, Ray. And then, um, like, it just said in general nothing on the Bush Gardens app, so that's weird. But uh, today we're going to skip out on uh, going on Magnus first, so we're going to try to go on the left side to get the stuff we haven't done yet. And maybe get a return time on uh, Verbolt first. So that'll probably be the best bet. So we'll see. Anyways, we're going to probably go this way instead. Yep. <laughs> Not going to wait for the train, so. Yeah. All right, well, let's get day two underway, shall we? Well, decided to start out with a couple of rides on Verbolton. First off, we did a uh, back row ride, and then we came back and did a front row ride. Yeah. I think I like it a little bit better in the back, but you really can't go wrong with the front either. Oh, the back's got some great hops, man. Yes. Holy crap, that's awesome. I did not expect that at all, because uh, when you take the uh, the lift and then the drop after the launch, you feel like the, whoa, where the hell? That was awesome. Loved it. That was so good. Lynn, this is one of your favorite rides, I can tell. Uh, what'd you think of these couple of rides we had? I grayed out twice. Um, no signs of Ryan. Um, he could maybe get like a late start today or maybe he's working like overnight shifts or something, but uh, we'll see if we can find him today in the park. Maybe we'll see him. Maybe we'll know. But it's time for a water ride, all right? Oh yeah, absolutely. The one thing we didn't get to do here. Yeah, we didn't get to do any of them yesterday. Uh, only one was open. All of them are supposed to be open today, so... Fingers crossed. Yeah. I'm also in the mood for, for the B&Ms, Alpengeist and Griffin, so... Hopefully we can get those two here pretty soon, but uh, yeah, for Bolton, never a bad way to start a day here at Williamsburg. So we are getting ready to do what is my favorite coaster here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. That would be Alpengeist. This incredible b and invert. As uh, Dylan and Lynn are getting their uh, stuff in a locker here, I'll put the camera here just a little bit. No, I'm not. Absolutely. We did, uh, we did, uh, we did what? Yes, you are. We did what? Just two rides yesterday? Uh, yeah, two rides. We're going to try to do more today and uh, just see it going up the same lift here. I, I will say, though, this ride definitely uh, has warmed up to me very well. So it'll be interesting when I, once I go back to Florida do Monsu again how it's going to be. And eventually for Great Bear uh, in a few days away. Looking forward to that. I love the ice blue color scheme on this ride. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Throw it in there with the white track. It's one of the best looking, visual looking coasters I've seen. And the ride experience delivers even more. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. I this ride never lets me down. So we just did back to back back row rides yes. here on Alpengeist. Man, this thing never disappoints, and I think back row is the way to be, even though there's really not a bad spot on this one. I can officially say that's the second best invert I've been on, hands down. Montu is still holding the king, but this is number two for me. I'd say uh, today is definitely a better ride experience than yesterday, um, after that incident. But uh, I would still put Montu and Banshee on top of this, respectively. I'm just I personal opinion. I appreciate the love for Banshee. Respect. Just respect. Yeah, but I'll just say though, this ride's been really, really good ever since uh, yesterday. I've really grown upon it. 
and uh, very good ride, very, very good ride. Very intense, very intense. Um, I will say though, Kyle learned about the back row left seat off the first drop. Oh my God, Wicked. It's amazing. You get hauled and hurled on that, and it's so good. Love it. So especially like in the middle and the end of that drop, you really feel the pullout kicking, kicking hard, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is the ride that I was most excited to do again after last year. I've made it clear that I love E&M inverts in general. And uh, this is definitely one of my, I'm yet to ride a bad one. I don't know where I'd put this. I ride coasters, I don't rank them. So it's just, E&M is yet to put out a bad invert in my opinion, at least the ones that I've ridden. I can't wait to ride Great Bear here in a couple of days, so. And another thing I have to say, got this little, got this cup right here. Originally, the price was $21.99. It was on sale for what, $13? Yeah, 13 bucks. And then thanks to Lynn being a platinum pass holder here, got 40% off of that. So I got this thing for, for about $10. So I will take that anyway. So after yesterday's debacle, thanks, Bush Yards. Exactly. Pay I'm, back I'm, the money. I'm getting I'm getting my money back slowly but slowly here. Take that. We're gonna do something different now. We're gonna do Le Scoot, I believe that's how you say it. Yep, French, which, not which, bad. Which is a, a log a log flume. Probably one of the best log flume entrances you'll ever find. A log with a buzz saw in it. Oh, very nice. Look, look, look at these cheap prices. I mean, come on. Bush, I wish we can go back to those days. Yeah, really. I mean, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Can we get some food prices like that? that no, food really test nice. right now would be like 10 bucks. <laughs> Oh God! Oh my God! <laughs> this is what this is how you don't enter a ride, everybody. You see what these people are doing. Don't run. Anyway, we're gonna do get stuff in the locker. Exactly. So we're gonna try to enjoy this. Holy right? crap! Well, we just got off of the scoot. Pretty fun log ride. That was awesome. It was good. We were hoping to get some footage of uh, uh, Alpine Alpen guys. And also, uh, Vader. Vader. no log. No, but uh, that's all right. Though. I'm still got a good, still got a good POV. And we got a nice little refreshing uh, mist, a little bit. Yeah. Lynn wrote, Lynn wrote in the mist, very. But it's like a, a kind of like chilly. a shower. Water was like a little cold though. Yeah, Lynn rode up front. Dylan rode in the middle. I rode in the back. I really didn't want to get wet this early in the this early in the day when it's still temperatures like in the low 70s right now. Really nice, it wasn't but even not that bad. I mean, I just got my uh, front of the shirt and my. Uh, yeah, hat. I got my size. My size mainly wet and my I socks. Am, I am thankful that my socks didn't get wet. So. Oh, the, the water kept dripping in the log and then got my socks. That's the most just the most frustrating thing. Too, and then... But so not think, as terrible though. So I think we are headed. To the B and dive coaster right there, Griffin. We only rode that once yesterday, and it's one of the best coasters in the park. You need to me. fix that. Exactly. So this will be fun. We just got off a of Griffin, had two rides, both in the back row, and uh, man, that's a damn good dive coaster. Yeah, I'm and I think the you. one thing that I've been impressed with is that Griffin, absolutely smooth. And like the last two rides I've had at Shaker, man, they've had some nasty rattles. So right now, I think Griffin's probably the best dive I've been on. And uh, you know what's funny? The back row, the entire back row of that ride, you actually get really good pops of airtime. Yes, you on do. On Shikra, it's only like the corners of the back row seats, which is weird, but. Griffin, the entire back road gets popped. It's Absolutely. unbelievable. I love everything about this thing. Lynn, what do you, what do you think? Um, 
I've been doing some thinking about comparing this between Val Raven and Shikra because those are the two dive coasters I've done, plus this. Um, after some really hard contemplating, I would have to say Griffin is now my number one dive coaster. Mm, okay. And yeah. then, respectively, it's like kind of a tie between Shikra and Val Raven. Because wasn't it Val Raven that had the Ohio signature? Yes. yes. Okay. Because that's a pretty cool element. But the only issue um, that I have with Shikra, but like my only like uh, battle per se between them, the mascot with them. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I know it doesn't matter, but for some reason I just it's gotta choose a favorite picky. based based on the mascot. Do I like the bird or do I like the uh, what is it? Oh, Griffin, it's a. Uh, I think they're both. No, uh, Griffin and then the Val Raven, which is. Oh, Val bird. Raven, I think it's a bird too. They're both birds. Kind of yeah. bird? Yeah, all three are birds, technically. They don't mean, really matter. But, but no, I will say. Which though, bird is your favorite? The, <laughs> the, the little bunny hill before the splashdown also is a really good pop, though. I will say that. It was yeah, really good. Like, you get some unexpected pops in there. It's really nice. No complaints. I love everything about about Griffin. I love the, love the uh, color scheme on it. I love the splash down. I think that's one thing that Val Raven does not have. I have not ridden Sheikra yet. Yeah, so. that's I think the advantage for uh, Griffin as well. But uh, man, I would not mind at all at Kings Island if we got ourselves a B and M dive. I would not complain. Love to see that. that would be. All right, we are in line here for the Sky Ride. So we're, is... we're in the French station here. France. So it's a triway uh, Sky Ride. So it's like an actual triangle here. And there's three stations we can actually, you know, get on and get off of. We've been on a couple of sky rides. We've been on in the Indiana Beach, we've been on in uh, Cedar Point. Yeah, hopefully we get some views of uh, the Griffin helping guys knock this monster here. We should get some good views here. This looks like a pretty good one here, so looking forward to riding the sky ride. So here we are. <coughs> Taking a ride on the sky ride. Hopefully, we can get some good views coming up, like Griffin. Can't, can't tell where it's at. Hopefully, we'll get at the drop. I always love it when rides interact with other rides. It's just a nice little element. This is a nice relaxing ride. And wow, that's cool how you can see it actually hit the track right there. Oops, you missed it. Yeah. Gotta go back again. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's nice. Coming up here is Alpengeist right behind us here. And you get a killer view of Alpengeist oh, though. See if we can get catch a train in action here. We look at the loop you get from here though. That's crazy of a view. We were hoping to get some footage of Alpha and guys when we were on the log flim. Unfortunately, that did not happen. But <coughs> yeah, not really a case there. Now the great thing about this about this um, sky right here at this Bush Gardens Park, it is still free. As uh, Dylan, Thank has, God. Dylan has pointed out here in uh, some past vlogs from earlier this year down at Bush Gardens Tampa, if you're not a pass holder, you have to pay five bucks to ride the thing. Yeah, it's ridiculous, and I'm not a fan of that. Even though I'm a pass holder, I still hate that because that's very big penny pitching oh, right there. Oh man, Absolutely. Land of the Dragons, I love the, the splash pad. Yeah, that's 90s throwback right there. Getting a view of uh, some of the kids area <laughs> right here. Yeah, Land of the Dragons. It's funny how they have a Land of the Dragons here and Sesame Street. Because Land of the Dragons used to be a Bush Gardens Tampa, but that's where Sesame Street is right now. So, it's a shame. But here we are at one of our stations. We'll probably have to get off and go to another one there. So, it may not look like it, but we are on a different tray, a different uh, car or whatever these things are called. Cabin. Cabin. There we go. But yeah, here's a view of Loch Ness Monster. That's the newly uh, refurbished. Loch Ness Monster. We've already ridden this a couple of times and uh, has not Day disappointed. One. Have not ridden it yet today, but we will be eventually. Griffin going right there. Again. Here, going to the lair. Should be exit like. 
see it behind the trees there. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is back there. You gotta turn around. You see right here. Oh, it's going through the uh, lake there. Nice. Not sure. Yeah, right. Yeah, here's the the monster's lair here. Wow, they did a lot of work there. Holy cow. Yeah, this used to be like a whole big section. Look at that thing. Oh my god, they did a lot of work there. That's so cool though. That is so, so cool. Yeah, the only transportation ride we haven't done yet is the um, train. Is the train. But still, this is very nice though. And of course, because it's Williams, there's lots of trees that are here, so obviously it's been a lot of shade, which has been a huge positive compared to Definitely. Tampa. Because Tampa, it's so hot out there, man. You're barely getting shade. It's terrible. It's been really comfortable here in terms of uh, temperature. I think te probably in the low to mid 70s right now. I would say so. I can look it up as we uh, go down. Uh, 74 right now. 74 degrees here in uh, Williamsburg, Virginia. So. Beautiful. All right, here's Stop Tail. So we're getting ready to do another water ride here, Escape from Pompeii. Now I rode this last year. I was really impressed with it. Get some really cool effects inside the building there. And uh, last time I rode this was when I was a baby. Uh, last visit, that was two years ago. Uh, we went in April, and it was nice and cool. And uh, Oh, I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Um, and this was closed because it was too cold outside. Mm. That's how you work the water right now. It uh, looks really good here. But... Right there, so... Well, maybe we're not going to do this right now. Who knows? Uh... Right. Yeah. Well, we came by here yesterday and there was a crane. It looked like they were doing some work on it, so. Uh... I don't know, maybe we're not going to do this right now. We'll see. All right, Dylan, you got the news. It's still yeah, closed? so uh, it's still closed right now, but they are trying to test it out and see if they're going to have it open. And then Roman Rapids, apparently the uh, the water levels have an issue. Oh. It's funny how they're so direct up here, and then, like, Tampa, no. Yeah, that was, uh, well, that's unfortunate. I don't know what we're going to do now. We were wanting to do this. We might kind of do this Well, I mean, they got, the, they got the um, lift still working. It's just, uh... oh, here's a test boat right here. Yeah, that's good. Well, we might do this. Who knows? We'll see. Yep. So we're gonna do a different water ride instead. Roman River Rapids. Now, Rapids. these types of rides are are very special to me. I've always loved, you know, your uh, you know your whitewater rafting type rides. And this is a. Uh, very similar, at least uh, the turns have a very similar layout here to Whitewater Canyon, which of course was my home ride at Kings Island last year. And uh, like I said, I've always enjoyed these rides. They've always been a lot of fun, even before I started working at uh, Whitewater last year. So, and I'm looking forward to working there. I'm gonna try to pick up some shifts uh, over there this year again. Cause I yeah, the weird thing about this ride is that apparently, like, it's been closed all day. And there's been no word like whether it was going to open or not. So this actually genuinely surprised me. And what's funny on the app, they don't even mention this ride on there, which is very strange. So I hope that's A, not a sign they're going to get rid of it. And B, like in general, like, I don't know if Bush Gardens is slagging or something. I'm not entirely too certain, but happy to see this ride open up, though. Absolutely. Thank God. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. So in the temperature, it's kind of warmed up a little bit. So very well. shouldn't be too bad. I have no idea how wet we're going to get. So. That's right the yep. Well, Roman River Rapids. Not bad. I wouldn't say it's not the best one, uh, Rapids type ride I've been on, but it's certainly not the worst. As you can see here, Dylan got a good, uh, got a good amount here. I got. You probably soaked. see it on heat on me, just a little bit. My not really much on the back or on my uh, rear, but more or less the front. Again, similar to. Uh, the one that we just did. Yeah, With scoop, yeah, yeah there it is. Scoop. Yeah, scoop. Me on the other hand, it kind of got me on my right side here, but all in it all. It must be I nice. Got, yeah. I I know I got hit really good in one Seth's section. That's the guy who just, likes getting wow. wet on water rides. So. Oh, I do. 
got what she asked for. Oh, I do. I got hit real good, though. Not bad, though. Uh, it's got a, a dragonfly on it, yeah. too. So. It was a little different than I remember, though. But it was still good, though. Still yes. good. Anyways, let's hope uh, Escape from Pompeii opens up. Yes, not sure what we're doing next, but uh, we'll see. So we just did another, a uh, ride on Apollo's chariot for the first time today. But all of us rode in the back row. Has, and uh, I have to say, that was the best ride I've had on it so far. Very good. Excellent. I've always been a fan of it. I've always, res I've always respected it. That's not I've, what I heard last year. Well, I mean... <laughs> like, I, like I said yesterday, when you expect to be launched out of your seat and you're not, that's a huge letdown. He got punished for it. Yeah. I see Pantheon's going in the background. So Pantheon's been down most of the day, but, uh, you know, those two can ride. I can't, so I cry and be depressed. I love Pantheon. We'll figure out what we'll be doing next in a little bit. I love Pantheon. Hopefully we can ride it at least once or twice. So. Yep, we know what we're doing, so we'll just, well, your guess is as good as ours here at this point. Well, Escape from Pompeii is finally open. Just like that. <laughs> Couldn't have timed that any better after a after a very annoying wow. experience that we just had. Yeah, waiting for this ride to open up first off, that was terrible. Like, I mean, we've been waiting all day today to finally see it open. That's unbelievable. And, uh, for, can make our way over here? All I'm gonna say about uh, the experience we just had, <laughs> Yeah. So, certain parents, so, they need to do a better job I, of uh, watching just, their kids. Well, first off, I just want to say, Williamsburg has a lot of open wildlife, too, which is something that uh, really does surprise me, a lot yes. of rabbits. However, um, I don't know what happened. There's like three kids from like a parent that are just running out in the field. And you're not supposed Chasing to see that. poor rabbit who have rabbits have anxiety. Oh, I know. They it's could, terrible. Which could kill are they them. famous? So, yeah. Famous? I mean, that depends. <laughs> How many subscribers? Get a little over a thousand, maybe help us out. We'll get to 1100. You guys, oh, you guys are in our vlog if you want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wait, you guys, you blur out our school's name on our shirts. So, right. yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we won't tell, don't worry. We won't tell. Hey, if you subscribe, we won't tell, so don't worry. Right. Well, off to, off to you know, I take back everything I said from before. This made up for it. There you go. <laughs> So we just got off of Escape from Pompeii. Very solid, right? I know you were looking forward to doing that Oh, absolutely. That so last time I rode this was 2014. There were definitely a lot of effects working and uh, the fire definitely got toned down. Um, I can tell you there's a little like red glow before you take the drop and the doors open. That wasn't working anymore, which that sucks, but oh well. But you know what? It made up for it that uh, we got to blast some kids like uh, two boats after us there so yeah. we got these water guys that are right around within these areas so now it, it costs a dollar to do it and uh, which is fine myself, i guess dylan and lynn we all took advantage of that and uh yeah so you can see here's number one number one's right over here they got about eight blasters right over here the best ones honest opinion are these three here but the last one there is always good because it sneaks up the yeah that's, the, that's the one i had right there at number one and uh, yeah, they voiced their displeasure with us. I thought I was back at Whitewater Canyon up in Tower 2 getting cussed yeah. out for spraying people. So that was a great feeling. I, Absolutely. I, I miss that so much. But I'll tell you so. what, out of all the like shoot the shoot rides that's out there, this easily is one of my favorites. I mean. Got great theming and everything. And look at the people standing right over there. They just got completely oh, dredged. Oh, they got the dredged. But that only happens if you get a full boat. If you don't get a full boat, then not really the case. Like, we could really show you another view, but uh, let's go behind the glass to show you what it's like. Yes. So here we are, we're behind the glass of where the splashdown area is. Now, this splash zone right over here, as you can see, I'm just gonna go here real real briefly here. This is a nice little area where, of course, when this boat takes the drop, no one can splash all the unsuspecting guests that are out here, but they're, it's already hot outside. They wanna get wet anyway, so. It feels all right, I would say it's hot. Oh yeah. But you know what? Let's see, for example, what it's like here with this boat coming down. And of course, when the summer really hits, it's nice and refreshing. Oh, absolutely. Out. But what's funny is, you know, when you come out here, you really do feel a lot of the fist come in when the splashdown really kicks in. Yeah, like, we, that's basically all that we got. Like, we didn't really get all that wet, and I'm not complaining Too wet. about that. We just saw uh, it's just a brief misting, honestly, but... Uh, well, I guarantee you, once, the, like, the deep summer kicks in, they'll probably fill this whole area up. I guarantee you that. You won't be able to move over here. 
No, it's not right it now. Really not. It's decent. I mean, it's decent weather right now. It's like mm. it's not cold. It's not warm. It's like fairly good. Right. But I mean, if you really want to cool down, this spot right over here that you can see is perfect. Absolutely amazing. Yes. So definitely check it out when you can here. Escape from Pompeii at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. Yes. Well, uh, if you're seeing, don't worry, the clips are not out of order. We took a little break from uh, the sky ride after doing a couple things after eating and then after doing Escape from Pompeii, but we decided, you know what, we need to do the final leg of the uh, sky ride here, so. Shout out to the ride hops, by the way. These guys are awesome. Yeah, uh, appreciated the culture of the shirt. And I had to make sure I asked him, is it better than Race to New York? And he said, absolutely. So we have culture here in Virginia, folks. How I've about never, it? I've never ridden either ride, and I can tell you it's better than Race to New York. That ride is just That's because nothing it's because It's nothing but cringe. Cars versus felons. Felons. We don't like sucks. Felons. I agree. We don't we, like We appreciate culture here on We The Coasters. That's what it is. And if you don't think so, we got two words for you. But it ain't going to be what I'm going to say here. Yeah, we, want this, <laughs> we don't want this video getting demonetized. So. Uh, nah. What is he gonna do? Going over here, we have uh, Finnegan's Flyer right over here. Rode that yesterday. It looks we like going we're running get, both sides today. Are we going to get another ride on this? Is my question. Uh, uh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and I've had a bad day because uh, this bag here. Uh, I didn't realize that we were sitting in a puddle and I set my bag down. So it's sitting in a puddle of whatever type of liquid has been there. Yeah, so that was uh, when we were eating, and I have to say... I it's... had to emergency buy a new bag, and I'm going to try to doctor this. If not, it's going in the trash. Yeah, it's bit. not even waterproof. I have to say, though, the views of uh, Loch Ness Monster, Griffin, and Alba guys all right here. Awesome. Look oh, at the hello. view of Griffin going up Blood Hill. Oh, very nice. And you have a then again fire going on, too. Oh, sweet. But we're not interested in that. Already committed to this uh, gear. And see. And there's Loch Ness Monster coming back to the station. Right there. Going in Lundville. Yeah. I have to say, uh, the food that we had, that was some of the best food I've ever had at yeah, any, the, at any park. For really Williamsburg, far. it's been really, really good. So it looks like we're at the last leg of the station here, but yeah, the sky right here, definitely amazing. I like this a lot. Very good. And, uh, and funny enough, the, uh, what'd you say? This is not a car, but uh, uh, the, cabin. the cabin that we're in, this is the one that we started out with. Yeah, here. that's absolutely so, ironic. Uh, really how that is. ended up happening, I don't know, but yeah, this is a very good sky ride. Uh, oh, absolutely. It's kind of unique. It kind of goes into a triangular. Honest route. opinion, I, I like this better than Tampa. Trader. I'm not afraid of it. Alrighty. So we are in line now for Finnegan's Flyer. We rode this once yesterday. We were facing uh, the ravine that way. We're yep. gonna, guessing we're gonna do the opposite view, or? I don't know, but uh, the one thing I noticed is the other side's open, so. Oh yeah, they were only running one side yesterday, so. <laughs> This They're actually doing riding. separate for once, too. Yeah. Oh, this should be fun. So, Finnegan's Flyer. Man, I... <laughs> that is fun, but man, it takes me a little bit to get get used to it, and then once I get used to it, the, we're done, so... Uh, yeah, these SS Screaming Swings are awesome. I love these rides. Shout out to Logan, by the way. I don't know if it, wait, we did have it on camera, but uh, whenever we was all sitting down and all that, he comes over, everyone's asking him to do a cartwheel, and obviously we're on the wrong side, but I look behind my back, and the man just does a cartwheel over here. So that's awesome. That's the guy in the sunglasses right there. That dude uh, was awesome. Also, I saw the name tag. It said Georgia, and I'm also from Georgia. The state, not the current, uh, country. So I just had to ask, like, oh man, what part? So, coincidence there. Yeah, from the same area she's in. But I gotta say though, say. these guys are awesome. They take their job with awesome love and heart and have a lot of fun so with this it. So that's those, awesome to see. This is one of those parks where you're gonna see employees from all over, not just all over the United States, but you have a lot of people international. Yeah, so we've seen yeah. a few yeah. from uh, Colombia and Ecuador. And uh, what was the other one that we've seen? I, I think we seen, uh, was Argentina, I think it was? Somewhere, somewhere around the area. And but, I'm guessing you yeah. see a lot of that at Disney and Universal too. Oh, yeah, easily, um, apparently yes. some people would like come over from overseas and uh, work like seasonally or something. Yeah. Because they have dorms here. Can't say that and, we get a lot of that at Kings Island. I mean, there's a few, but nowhere near the. Honestly, I I was this close to flying a one-way trip up to Ohio and working seasonal there. 
that just crossed hey, my mind just on once, and then I just thought, both of you, come on up here. No, nah, I like where I am. Yeah, right. I love Florida weather, but no, I will say, like I said, these guys are awesome. Shout out to these guys. These employees are awesome. Absolutely. Take good care of the Williamsburg. These guys are great. So we're gonna head over to Loch Ness Monster now. Loch Ness. Right there, the iconic interlocking loops of the legendary Loch Ness monster. We just got off of that. Yeah. Right in the back two rows. I was in the back all by myself. Dylan and Lynn were in the row right in front of me. That was a very interesting experience. I liked it a lot. It was very impressive. Like I can't believe I'm saying this. Airtime on an aero looper? Yeah. I would never imagine my lifetime. Same here. But, that was wow, insane. I was impressed. And I'll tell you what, again. Premier did a great job uh, retracking this ride. However, there's only one minor complaint I have, and I feel like a lot of people have this complaint. It's what's in the uh, the board in the tunnel. They show projections of the Loch Ness. Well, didn't really show a good job. But I'll show you something real quick before I talk about it here. Now, those interlocking loops. Wow, all the coasters literally just went on by. Yo. By. Nice cool. cameo up here is my Alpin guy, sir. But yeah, but um, so the tunnel, they show the projections of the Loch Ness and you're going by it so quick, you don't really have a grasp to see unless no. you catch it like split second. Like I managed to see the Loch Ness Monster like at the end of the bottom and I see him like very glimpse in the corner of my eye. Maybe but, that's the, maybe that's the catch, you're not supposed to see the Loch Ness yeah, right. Monster. But other than that, very good. 
Very, very good. I loved this a lot. I love this ride a lot. So great job, Premier. And they've done an incredible job of refurbishing this ride. Yes. I, mean, I thought it was pretty smooth last year when I rode it before the refurbishment. They made it really good. Yeah. What um, did you think? I got a couple of head bonks, but uh, it was a better experience than the front row last time, I'd say. Hmm, Especially with the airtime, it probably redeemed itself. Now, unfortunately, uh, uh -oh. the got a Both little bit bumpy, there, right? like on my arm right here. Yo. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have a nasty bruise right here, and eh, not looking forward to it. And we still got two more parts to go. <laughs> I'm still not a big fan of those over the shoulder restraints. I never will be a fan of those things. If yeah, yeah. If we could just get like a lap bar or something similar to what? What is it, Mac or Premier? Uh, probably Premier. Either yeah. that or a vest. If yeah, I was or a vest. like, no, I mean like, is the manufacturer like uh, the refurbish manufacturer uh, Mac or Premier? Uh, Vacoma actually. No, I mean original. Oh, uh, no, here. not original, but uh, the uh, refurb. Uh, Premier. So Premier. Possibly. I know the Vacoma did the trains though. But, I mean, I forgot if it was a Mac or a Premier. No, correct. Okay. Let's see Griffin going right here. So I wouldn't like the restraints on those. If they had lap bars, but it would be a lot better. Yeah, but Vacoma did the Aero trains. That's why they got a, they, they took over uh, Aero's uh, design there. AKA European Aero. Overall, See, like a, I said, this is a great. cool area of the park. You got Loch Ness Monster right here. You got Alpengeist right there. You have Gr Griffin right next to it. All these coasters in action at one time. What are we at so. Cedar Point all of a sudden? Yeah, yeah, I know. Actually, a quick side note while we're here. So that first drop, you really feel a good pop in that oh, back yeah. row. You really feel yes, it, but you do. great, great element though. But you know what? Man, you really come close to the first loop up there. It's really crazy. Speaking of loops. Alright. So much to see Wait, right here in this area. I love this area. But, <laughs> right. yeah, Loch Ness Monster, a classic, and I'm glad it's going to be around for a long time. Oh, absolutely. Great job, Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Yes. You did a great job. Definitely. Well, we just got off the train here. As you can see, we didn't do the full ride. We went to... Uh, New, we went through uh, Fest Italia, and we're here in New France. Yes, very nice, uh, relaxing ride. It's also very in, scenic. Wow. Yes, got a nice view of the. Uh, what is that? What is, what is that lake? Uh, uh, where Truck and Fire used to be. Yes. Well, yeah. Also, the old event area. That's where my parents met. They noticed that they were both from California, and they actually met at that uh, that old area there. Hmm, also. They were able to experience Dragon Fire, so. Yeah, seeing Dragon Fire's building, that was really cool. Oh, yeah. It's I've, very similar to the Son of Beast, if you've ever been to King's Island yeah. and looked back there. Now, I've heard rumors that they're gonna probably use that old building for uh, a new family invert. If they do, oh boy, that'll be cool. Yes, it would be. I got a nice shot of the uh, the Rhine River there. That's yeah, a, that's that was a really cool, cool shot. And, uh, Oh, that really cool train too. I don't know how well you can see. It's a very nice old school steam train there. Yes. Very nice. So very we're nice. We're headed to uh, for Bolton now. We're looking at the yeah. Up and, uh, right just right the now, uh, it's close. about one hour till park close, so may as well just ride for Bolton to the death and have fun. You can, do, you can get some other things in there too. Probably, maybe, so. maybe I'll be. Hopefully, get a night ride in Alpha, guys. Oh yes, please. Wait. Let's do it. Remember, don't look back as you brave the black forest.
also, we just took the final ride on Verbolton two here. Rides, two the final rides. two rides on Verbolton here for uh, this visit here to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Boy, that ride is not disappointed. No. Uh, Kyle got the last the last row and the first row. We, yes. were, we were extremely nice. So why yes, not? Yes, I do appreciate it. It's always awesome to have just the visual of having the front row all, all to yourself. That's yeah, it's really... I think honest opinion, like front row on Verbolton easily is one of my favorites because the car feel that goes around it, it's like... It has that feeling like you're actually driving the car that goes yes. in there. It's very nice. Five minutes on it. Oh, dark coaster. Really? Oh, wow. A dark coaster actually lit up, though, with the castle. That's nice. nice. This park looks really good at night. It's really a shame that it closes at 9. Yeah, I think, what is it, a couple weeks from now, it'll probably be, like, till 10 p.m., but it's still really neat, though. Fantastic. But so I right. like dark coaster's uh, colors, though, for uh, how lit up it is. Oh, That's yes. nice. Yeah, it's very nice detail there. So you Lynn's know me, that's my theme park stuff talking right there. I'm going to get a quick picture of that Lynn, here. Lynn's going to get it. Thank you, dear. But um, no, so I got to say, though, about Verbolton real quick. Um, so Verbolton, it's funny enough that I always keep forgetting, after the launch, you take a nice big drop, though, and you, yes. you definitely don't expect it if you're like if you're a first-time rider. So it's very cool that you really get to, you know, experience that. But um, and I have to say, yeah. I have to say uh, any guy that's wanting to ride Verbolton, on that drop track, just be careful of how you land. That could end in disaster. Yeah, uh, <laughs> back row, he took a, took a bit of a fall there. I mean, I've taken worse, but it, it wasn't a pleasant yeah. uh, drop for me in the back row. So nice, I have to say real quick to Lynn. All right, real quick. Lynn, drop yeah. track, what's better, Haggard's or that, or uh, Verbolton? And grill or smoothness of execution? Both. I got to go Haggard's. Haggard's. Easily. Alrighty, They're well, both I... good, but Haggard's has a better, like, transition. I can't speak Hagrid's for Hagrid, so I don't know. For Bolton, it's kind of a, you know, surprise. It has a weird but idol. Still, it's like, it kind of like jump scares you, and then it's like, oh, still adjusting, still adjusting. Hold on, guys. All I mean, right, to be fair, continues. to be fair, for Bolton's from like 2013, so, or 2012, I should say, but yep. still, uh, so, it's a fantastic so ride. And you're pairing something with a coaster who released a little bit too soon in 2019. Yeah. yeah. But then got a whole briefer after we walked. Oh, so. hard enough to believe, too. Hagrid's yeah. is almost five years old. That's scary. What? <laughs> so we're heading. No way. Yeah. So we're going to head to one more coaster because the park is going to close here in, here in about, I don't know, five, ten, ten minutes. Ten, ten, minutes. About ten, ten minutes. minutes or so. We're going to, this probably be our last ride of the and, night. Yeah, I mean, what other coaster can we end it on? And right there, if you can see it, this amazing BM invert known as yes. Alpengeist. I have to say this, so when we did the Cedar Point block from 2023, our left, like we had a night ride on Raptor. Oh my that, god. That kicks yes. so much butt. So now we're gonna do uh Alpengeist tonight. Let's see how that compares at night to oh, I'm telling you. I know you hate comparisons, but come on, this is no joke on comparison. You have to look at the visuals out here for the light side from the uh, Germany see, This area. park looks beautiful during the day and at night. It's a shame we don't get to see more of it at night. Yeah, but, uh, but it's very nice though. Yes. Very, very nice. I'm going the wrong way. No, you're the right way. Yeah. So, let's head to Alpi. Yes, we're going to head to Alpi and guess it right now. Alright guys, this is Dylan from We The Coasters. We're getting ready to do last ride of the night and we're doing it on Alpen guys. You can see it's mostly dark, not pitch dark, but mostly dark. Might have said a little bit of a sunset over there. We have these two knuckleheads with me and we're going to be hauling. There's only like five people on this train. This is going to be awesome. Oh yeah. Pretty. So. If you see us, or you at least see the train ahead of us, good. If not, then well, we give it a try. But we're about ready to drop 195 feet in this helix. We're gonna be hauling butt here. Here we go. Send it. Bye. 
tail turn into the break. That was one kick last ride of the night. That's ah. how you do it. Yeah. How you guys doing over there? Terrible. <laughs> Kyle? Amazing. Holy crap. That's <laughs> awesome. And then, folks, was one kick journey here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Wow. Well, I couldn't think of a better way to end our time here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg than after after having a kick-ass night ride on her bolt, oh, not her bolt, no, <laughs> no. Well, we did ride her bolt. What? What, what did we see? do? Yeah, what did we do, it threw, Kyle? It threw me for a loop, I can tell you right now, on an Alpen, guys. Last ride of the night in the yes. back row. Holy crap, that was awesome. I'm telling you. That, that ride in the back row, I'll tell you what, so I got that very end seat in the left. Oh, man. I love inverts, and that was like the perfect way to end it. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's... I think this ride took part of my soul this year, and I'm, <laughs> I perfect, did all right, I'm perfectly fine. And we got two more parks to go to! It seems like every time I go to a park, I always buy a shirt of at least one ride, and uh, yeah, this year, easily Alpen guys. Yeah, normally I would get like the best ride, but today I want to make an exception because uh, Block This Monster did its uh, refurb and all that, and it ran very, very well, so that's why I got it there. And then Lynn, she just, she's just there. I exist. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we go this way, I think, is, you know. Sorry. Oh, so the park. Rabbit. Look at that. Rabbit? Red, red. I think you can't see it, but it's in the dark, but I think it's a rabbit. Oh, yeah, rabbit. it is oh. a rabbit. Yes, we've seen uh, Bye, rabbit. We've seen a good amount of wildlife here uh, this week. A couple of regular, like, adult rabbits, and then one uh, uh, baby thing. rabbit. Yeah. Which is crazy. But uh, overall, like I said, we had a great time here. Yeah, this park is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, Wait. Oh, that's going? Cruise. Oh, shoot, we went the wrong way. Well, you know, we're, say, we're lost. Uh, we're Taurus. Yes, we are Taurus. Ah, tell me I was about to say, uh, this is the right way, buddy. Yeah, right? See, this is where it's amazing that we get to do this and we can still be, like, the most entertaining goofballs because, like, yes. we don't even know where we're we going at the time. We're going. We're gonna... So the park is officially closed, which is uh, rather unfortunate because I would really love to experience like how this park is at night. Drifting at night would be really oh cool. Oh my like, god, yeah. Maybe Loch Ness, maybe Loch Ness. Can't imagine. But Pantheon, still, that would be nice too. At night. Yeah, for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Intamin, help me out here. What I do to get you people? That's something I want to know. But say that it was so great to be able to come here two years in a row. Yeah. I do want to say though, uh, it's it's been a blast for this trip, and uh, like I said, thank you, Williams, for where where the hell? Oh, yeah, we go this way. That was weird. I got a little lost for a second, but lots of fun though. It lots is easy to get lost to this park if you're not careful. Yeah. So. But like I said, it was a lot of fun though. Fantastic. Absolutely, and uh, man, we have two more parks coming. We're doing a yeah. three park trip, which we've never done before. No. Uh -uh. So, uh, real quick, I just want to say a big shout out to the ride, to the ride ops and the and the people who run this park. At least as far as like keeping everyone in check and all that, you guys are phenomenal. Yes, unbelievable. I don't know how you guys and do your from, jobs, man, but it's awesome. And from a ride ops perspective, you know, working in a you know completely different park chain, I am quite amazed at how different they operate here. It's like there's a lot of differences I notice here from how we do it over at you know at Kings Island. A Cedar Fair Park. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, it's uh, United Parks, you know, United Parks definitely have a different feel for like, you know, how to operate the rides and whatnot, so mm -hmm. uh, I don't blame. It's cool, though. So I got to ask this real quick, Lynn, huh? welcome back to Williamsburg. What did you think of that trip? Um, definitely an improvement from last year. Uh, last or two year, years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Um, I actually went in April and it was very chilly. Um, so like uh, Apollo's Chariot was like freezing cold. Like, we were bundled up in jackets. That's how bad it was. It's kind of chilly right now, actually. Yeah, yeah it's Also, weird. I wandered it's like around the parks by myself, and I didn't really have anybody to go with. And I definitely didn't do... Everybody get out of the park. <laughs> right. And I definitely didn't do as many posters as I did with these guys. So I'd have to say thank you to y'all. No problem. Well, you come to a park with us, you're going to get all the coasters. That's just... You, you will know. be dragged on... Yes. Yes, unlike other people who just do the coasters and nothing else. And they judge the uh, the theme park based off the coasters, not the other attractions. I was going to say a side note, they have security blocking all the doors of the best house. Yeah. Yep. Honestly, they hilarious. want us out of this no place, No hiding man. in the fest house. <laughs> Friday night, these, these guys have plans after work, obviously. Yeah, so so, so do we. Whiskey, I'm telling you. 
Oh well, not going to end the vlog quite yet. Uh, yeah. I'm going to wait till we get out of here. There is something I do want to address, so uh, just stay tuned for that, please. So that is going to officially do it for us here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. It's been one hell of an experience here. Just uh, like I said, an amazing park all in all. Sad to go, but uh, yeah, it was great though. Fantastic. Just a lot of went through a lot of trials and tribulation just to get to this place, but uh, we made it work thankfully. And uh, we went on some amazing rides, and it is unbelievable. A whole lot of stuff that happened last minute. Yeah, unfortunately, but... Um, changes, that kind of stuff, but it happens. Yes, yeah, nothing... And you just, just gotta go with it. Just start yeah. it. Everything was, everything was out of everybody's control, so, but we made the best of it, but uh, there is... We have, we have to address two elements in the room, actually. Yeah, what's so, the, what's the first one? number one, if you remember last year's vlog, I know I gave this guy here a lot for uh, the experience here, and I yeah. gave him a little flack because this is technically a theme park. Yes. And hold on, I, I need this to be turned to him directly. If, if Lynn don't mind here real quickly here. Okay, go ahead. There we go. So, have you experienced this truly a theme park here? Absolutely. And you've seen what, how, what it's like for what a theme park truly is. Yes. Good pleasure to do business with you, sir. Yes. I appreciate that. And then the second. Well, we should give him the second, second one Second here, here, kind of on a personal note here. So we're recording this on May 31st. You're gonna be seeing this sometime in June. Probably early, mid-June at the yeah. most. So if you're a regular viewer of our channel, you probably are wondering. Refresh, <coughs> refresh, 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 refresh. Uh, there you go. Oop. Just tap the thing. You're yeah, good. You go. I was about to. So anyway, if you are a regular viewer of our channel, you're probably wondering, Kyle, why have, where are the Kings Island blocks? And I can explain. There's been a couple of reasons why I haven't gotten one out yet this year. I know we opened back in April. I believe it was April 20th. And like I said, you're probably seeing this for the first time sometime in early to mid-June. Well, one thing, my work schedule, for those of you that don't know, if you're new to this channel, I'm a ride operator at Kings Island. I work over at The Beast this year. This is my second year working at Kings Island. First year working at The Beast. And my scheduling just hasn't been real kind to me in, in terms of being able to go back into the park. Never has mine. Just in terms of being able to go back into the park and vlog, I've been getting a lot of swing shifts, which is when we come in at like 11.30, we get off at 8.15, and at the start of the year, we've been closing at uh, 9 o'clock at the latest. A couple of, a few times we even close at 6, so that just really doesn't work out. Second reason has been, well, my health. First of all, physically, I've, you know, I've had some opens scheduled. I've gotten scheduled some opens. But uh, I had a sinus infection for one of those. Another open that I had, it was a private event, wasn't able to get back into the park. So, yeah, that's been hurting me there. I got, I've gotten my availability changed so I could work more open shifts so I could be able to go back into the park. And second of which, and this is really the big one for me here, has been my mental health. Since early to mid-March, I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, and at times, I would say probably depression. And then these two know exactly what I've been going through. I, I yeah. suffer the exact same thing right on. Like, yeah, it's rough for all of us. Yeah. But uh, we've been very supportive, Kyle, because you know it's it's obviously a big struggle. Especially and, this guy here. Yeah. Like I've been, I've. He I, actually knows like how to help. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's amazing. It's like, I've why been, are you wearing your sunglasses at night? Why not? Way? Why aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, it's like him and I talk on a daily basis, whether it be through Messenger, whether it be through a TeamSpeak server, whether it be through Discord, we find a way to communicate. Yeah. And I'm, I try to do what I can to help him out the yeah, best and as he's possible. So. Done on a hell of a job. Yeah. He's a damn good friend to have. And get really, a Dylan in your life. Yes. And like I, I try to do what I can the best of my Just like everybody and, who is friends with my mom really wants a Dan in their life because my dad rocks just Let so there have been, there have been times where the anxiety i've had has been warranted there have been stuff i've been stressed about there's stuff i've been legit worried about and other times i would just wake up feeling like crap for no reason mentally where there's even really nothing bothering me but i wake up and just feeling down and it sucks and like i said we're filming this on may 31st ironic ironic ironically enough well, May 30th and May 31st, but ironically yeah. enough, um, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And when you know, my mental health so is ironic. gone yeah. to hell. So yeah, um, so that's why. I promise I will get some Kings Island vlogs out for you sometime. 
hopefully in the in the near future. So yeah, just but, just bear with me here. It, That's it'll all take I some ask. time, but eventually yeah. he'll get there though. So it just takes time going with things, you know. Yes. Going so, so. with the flow. I think we should end this very properly here. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this, be sure to give a like. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and hit that bell notification for any future uploads. Follow us on all of our socials, our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram, and our threads. So for myself, Kyle, for me, and, and Lynn behind Lynn. the camera, yep. thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys until the next video. We the Coaster's Journeys, King's Dominion. King's Dominion. Coming soon. Yes. Cannot wait. That's our next part. Until then, have a good rest of your day, everyone. Peace out.